Greetings and peace to you. This is SB Favor Thinking Podcast and my name is SB Favor. How are you doing today? <laughs> it is Monday, October 7th, 2024. Another wonderful day and another day to be thankful. And as I always say, if you focus on what is good, then you can project something good to happen. Yes. When you focus on what is good, because if you are sitting around thinking negative, and if you are sitting around thinking about your past and mistakes and failures, that is not good. So focus on what is good, because when you focus on what is good, you can manifest something that is good. So focus on what is good good if you are out there traveling well today make sure you say a prayer and never hurt to pray make sure you stay focused by not being on your cell phone too much because if you are on your cell phone too much in the public that means you are distracted and you don't want to be distracted we should always pay attention to what is going on in our environment so keep yourself safe keep your family members safe and just do your part to stay safe I always remind you of these things because I care. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. If you'd like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, dollar sign, SB Favor, or you can give at Venmo, at SB Favor. Once again, if you would like to give to the podcast, you can give at Cash App, and it is dollar sign, SB Favor. Or you can give at Venmo, and that is at SB Favor. Thank you so much for your support and your donations. Well, the title of this episode is Stay Focus, Set New Goals, A Blueprint for Success. I'm going to say that once again. The title of this episode is Stay Focused, Set New Goals, A Blueprint for Success. Mm -hmm. Setting goals and setting new goals are important because you want to have something to always look forward to. When you complete one goal, you should always set a new goal. It could be any kind of goal any kind of goal when you set new goals you will always have something to look forward to and the process of of completing goals we know that there are steps we have to take in order for goals to be completed and as you are completing those steps i believe there is a transformative process that is taking place as well. That transformative process is taking place according to how you think. It's taking place according to uh, your attitude. It's taking place according to the amount of effort you put into your goals. So staying focused and setting new goals, it is, uh, it is very important. It's very important because you want to always have something to look forward to. Because when you are looking forward to something and you complete each goal along the way, you receive you will receive a sense of fulfillment. Because that's what it's all about. Life is about experiencing different levels of fulfillment that's right if you are a person that's very ambitious and you're very driven by just completing goals consistently then you know what I'm talking about so setting new goals is important because you want to always have something to look forward to I'm going to keep saying that because I want you to remember what I am saying when we set goals big or small we will always have something to look forward to 
we don't have to set big goals all the time. Yes, you do want to because you want to experience different levels of fulfillment. But setting small goals can give you a great sense of achievement. A small goal could be as as, as simple as not eating a whole apple pie. <laughs> because some of us eat too much. That's right. It, uh, setting a small goal could be as simple as just not eating too much. Just not eating too much, having more discipline according to how much sugar you eat or have more discipline according to uh, just overall the portions you eat. So goals don't have to be big goals. You, Like I said, you do want to set big goals and experience that level of fulfillment, but it's the small goals that we complete and achieve that measure up to be something good and great as well. Why? Because we should always celebrate the small wins just like we celebrate the big wins. So when you set those small goals, you are aligning yourself uh, with having more discipline, you are aligning yourself with having a more consistent action towards something you need to do. So, as I stated, in any within any type of goal you set, as you start to take steps, you are putting into action something that is good. That will be transformative. Transformative for you. That's right. Because life is about change, growth, and constant, uh, just constant being involved. Yes, being involved. Evolved. Not involved, evolved. (laughs) Yes, because... When you evolve over time, that means you are growing. That means you are changing. That means you are transforming. Mm -hmm. Because we should always, always desire to do something different, to be different, to think different. We have to grow. We have to do the things that make us better. And so planning big goals... Like I said, it's good, but the small goals are just as good. When you break down how to manage a big goal, you want to divide it up. Do you know, take different steps, <clears throat> excuse me, at different times, and you want to give yourself short-term goals and learn and long term goals concerning the big goal what to do within a certain amount of time because when we set goals it gives us something to look forward to continue to visualize your success Imagine yourself achieving your goals to stay motivated every single day. Imagine yourself already being in the place you desire to be. Don't think about the problems and the obstacles of what you didn't do or how hard it was or how hard it is. But visualize yourself being in the place you desire to be because... You want to walk as if you already received it or as if you already did it. There's a saying that I hear a lot of people say, and I've heard many teachers say this. They say that you should become what you should become what you want to be by embracing the energy of of it in the very moment that you live in. In other words, 
Whatever it is you desire, act like it's already happening right now. That's right. Act like it's already happening right now. If you are practicing and studying for something, see yourself at the finish line, completing the goal. When I was in college and I had difficulties with different topics and subjects and I refused to give up because I knew I had to graduate on time. I had to visualize myself walking across that stage getting my degree. And the more and more I visualized myself walking across the stage to get my degree, the harder I worked. And even when it was difficult, I just kept seeing myself walk across the stage to get my degree. And so that's what you need to do. In the midst of your goals, in the midst of whatever is happening, don't focus on the problem. Focus on the solution and visualize yourself as already already being successful according to your plan and according to your goal. Visualize yourself as the goal being already completed. Yes. Practice mindfulness. Stay present and focus on what you have to keep doing. What you have to do to get the task done. Don't focus on progress. Don't focus on that. Focus on the result of it already being done. Because if you focus on the progress too much, and if it's not the progress you want, you might feel disappointed. So focus on the results of what you expect done. Focus on it being done. Avoid distractions. Avoid distractions at all costs. Minimize interruptions and create a focused environment, workplace, home environment. Because in order to achieve your goals, in order to stay focused, in order to avoid certain types of setbacks, you want to avoid distractions. Because when you avoid distractions, you will stay focused on the desired result completed. So avoid distractions. Make sure you hold yourself accountable. Be around others that make you accountable. Because if you are not maintaining your goal or if you are procrastinating, you don't want that. So hold yourself accountable. And make sure you have someone else to hold you accountable accountable and the process of seeking and pursuing your goals make sure you keep an attitude of faith yes I said faith (laughs) faith why because without God what can you do without God what 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 can happen Nothing. So make sure you keep an attitude of faith. And how do you keep an attitude of faith in the process of seeking your goals? You keep an attitude of prayer. You keep an attitude of focusing on what keeps you encouraged, what keeps you motivated, what keeps you aligned with your goal. Yes. So keep an attitude of faith in the process of completing And seeking your goals. Continue to learn. And grow. And never stop striving. For improvement. Even when there is a negative result. When you are pursuing your goals. If there is a negative result of anything. Just keep going. Just keep going. Keep going. Until you see and experience the desired result. Because I was talking to one of my students and I said to her, when you are 
on the road and you're on your way somewhere and you know you have to be there by a certain time or it may not be a certain time. You, you're on the road to get somewhere, on vacation, you're driving or you're just on your way somewhere. If you have a flat tire, you're not going to just sit on the road and stay there. No, you're going to get that tire fixed and you are going to get to the place you need to be. So, while you are on the road of pursuing your goals, whatever it is, treat it like a flat tire. If you have a problem along the way, fix it and keep on going. That's right. Don't let the problem in the road stop you from going where you need to go. So, stay focused on everything that helps you to complete that goal. The small goals and the greater goals. Make sure you also give yourself realistic deadlines. Give yourself realistic deadlines and don't apply pressure on yourself because setting goals are supposed to be rewarding not overwhelming. When you set a goal and you know you have to complete it by a certain time and if you don't complete it by a certain time, that's okay. Give yourself grace. But just just keep going. You want to maintain a sense of peace. You want to maintain a sense of of calm. That's right. You want to maintain those things because you are pursuing a goal, not a burden. And if you are overwhelmed and if you are not walking in peace and if you are are, are feeling like it's a burden, that's not good. That's not good. Take steps every single day to do what you have to do so that Everything you have planned will just come together and take its rightful form as you execute all your plans. Because setting goals and new goals always gives us something to look forward to. We should never just exist Go to work every day, come home, have no goals. That doesn't make sense to me. And if you're one of those people and you have no goals at all and all you do is just go to work and come home and go to work and come home and go to work and come home, start a goal today. Plan and start a new goal today or goals, more than one. It doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't. It could be something small. Start a small goal. Implement a, a plan for a small goal. And then plan for a greater goal. But start with a goal today. It could be anything. It could be a family goal. It could be a financial goal. It could be a health goal. Yes. But start somewhere. And as you make the plan and implement the steps, you're going to experience what I'm talking about. You're going to have fulfillment. You're going to feel good about yourself. You're going to feel uh, more determined. You're going to have discipline. Because anytime we complete the steps while we are pursuing a goal, it is a transformative process. While you are seeking and pursuing your goals, prioritize task. Focus on the most important task first. And as you prioritize your task, you will manage your time and you will do what you need to do. Don't ever put yourself in a position to feel overwhelmed by planning a a bunch of steps and you're feeling like, Oh, I, 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 this is too much. I can't do it. No, you can do it. 
You can do it because you can implement one step a day to complete a goal. You don't have to do all the steps at one time. Use a planner. Organize your goals and set deadlines. Set realistic deadlines. Don't set deadlines that's going to add pressure to you. And also avoid multitasking. Yes, that's what I said. Avoid multitasking. Why? Because you want to complete one goal at a time. When you when you complete one goal at a time, then you can move on to the next goal. When you complete one goal at a time, it gives you more time to think about that goal, what you need to do, and what you shouldn't do, and just to manage things with a balance. You don't want to be overwhelmed because it's a goal, not a burden. Also, find a mentor. If you need a mentor, Find a mentor. Seek guidance and support from someone who has achieved a similar goal. Mm -hmm. But don't feel overwhelmed because it is a, a goal that you can fulfill because you're going to experience fulfillment. Not a burden. That's right. Network with like-minded individuals. Connect with people who share your interests and goals. That's right. Surround yourself with people that are motivated. Surround yourself with people that can encourage you because they already completed the same goal. Mm Mm-hmm. Along the way, be patient. Be patient. Why do you have to practice patience? Because if you are expecting something to happen really fast, you are going to be disappointed. So don't walk around impatient. You want to practice being patient to achieve your goals because all things take time and effort. Mm -hmm. All things take time and effort. But along the way, you will experience a transformative process. Yes, you will. As you expect something good to happen, you will experience uh, a transformative process. Because... We all should have goals, big or small, because when we have goals, it gives us something to look forward to. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. So, be mindful of what it takes to get it done. Be mindful of prioritizing your time and managing your time. Be mindful of the things that will help you to get it done because if you consider what you have to do to get it done, you will know what you have to do. You will know what you have to do and you can pace yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't rush through the process. Pace yourself. But by all means, make sure you Stay determined, stay focused, and do all the things that will help you to get it done. Because when we complete goals and when we conquer goals and we do the things we say we will do, it will provide fulfillment. Because life is about moments of fulfillment. And when you complete a goal something you have planned, something you foresee yourself doing, it gives you fulfillment. It gives you a sense of purpose. So visualize yourself already completing the goal and make sure you set realistic deadlines. As I stated earlier, it is important for us to set goals to have something to look forward to. We all should have goals. It doesn't matter how old you are. It doesn't matter how young you are. We all should have goals.
goals, something we are working on. Because if you're one of those people and all you do is just go to work and come home, you should think about what I am saying. Set a goal. It doesn't have to be a big goal. It doesn't have to be a goal that costs a lot of money. Set a goal for yourself. Do something you've never done before. Do something you never thought you could do. Do something that gives you a smile. That's right. Do something that gives you a smile because all of us have gifts and talents and creative abilities and we have something That will give another person a smile. So, do something you've never done before. That's right. Do it. Make a plan. Make a list. If if you're not sure, just make a list of 10 things you're good at doing. And then, condense into five. And think about how you can get it done. Whatever it is you decide to do. If it's starting a new business, a goal for your family... Taking a vacation to a place you've never been. In a foreign country. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Just think about it. Think about it. And you will get it done. And you will take action. Think about it. Make steps. And you will get it done. So. On that note. I am going to conclude this episode thank you so much for tuning in and taking the time to listen to sp favorite thinking podcast please make sure you share this podcast with others Uh, i have over 200 episodes and you can share some episode with somebody (laughs) somewhere okay and if you would like to give to this podcast to support what is good, to support what is positive, give at Cash App Dollar Sign SB Favor or give at Venmo at SB Favor. Once again, if you would like to donate to this podcast, give at Cash App Dollar Sign SB Favor or give at Venmo at SB Favor. And if you are not comfortable, giving on the applications go to my facebook sp favor thinking podcast page and there is a business address there and you can see all my 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 information so that you can contact me by mail or email because you can find me at sp favor at yahoo.com via email and you can also find me on as i said facebook X, TikTok, Instagram, uh, Apple Podcasts, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Spotify. Google me and you will find SP Favorite Thinking Podcast somewhere. Once again, thank you for listening to the podcast. And make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel at SP Favor. I thank you so much. And once again, please... Uh, share this podcast with others and make sure when you subscribe, not just at YouTube, subscribe everywhere else you listen to the podcast. So thank you so much for listening and you have a good day.